Ontario's COVID numbers continuing to go in the wrong direction. And joining me today to talk about what needs to be done to mitigate the spread of the virus in classrooms and the community's COVID-19 biostatistician and educator Ryan Imgrund. Ryan, you work with a number of public uh, health offices as well as you're a teacher. Um, let me get your reaction first to Peel moving to remote learning. Is that the right move? Unfortunately, it is the right move. I think what we've seen is that in some of the Northern Ontario school boards, Sudbury and also Thunder Bay, they chose to move to online learning. And when they did in about two to three weeks following that, what they saw was they saw their like, cases drop. We're seeing the exact same like, trajectory right now with like Toronto and also Peel, we're seeing numbers shoot up. And the only way to bring these numbers down or to have them like plateau is to unfortunately move schools to online um, at least for the next two weeks, unfortunately, maybe even longer than that. We saw Toronto Public Health. Um, now, they're shutting down more than 20 schools due to outbreaks. Should Toronto follow suit too? Should we move to remote learning here in the city? Yeah, I think what's scary is that there's even some schools right now. I heard of one in the, the Catholic board that has 14 like, cases at that school, and that school is still wide open. So of those 20, I'm imagining how out of control COVID must be in those schools for those schools to be shut down if we have schools that have 14 cases that are still wide open. So absolutely, I think there's many, many schools that are in that exact same state. Um, and when you see them this high, you have to do something. And I do have to mention that uh, the Minister of Education, Stephen Lecce, said that schools should remain open um, because it's critical for mental health. How do we balance that? Because mental health is still an important aspect, um, especially during this pandemic. And that's exactly it. But I think at the exact same time, too, what we don't want is we don't want this soft lockdown for, let's say, three months because we're not locking down the right things. And then we see cases continually trickle up. The only way that we can bring these cases down is to make the right choices, is to lock down the appropriate things, do it you know, for as short of a time as possible, but do it right. Um, the longer we stay in this kind of a pseudo lockdown for, the longer we're going to have to be in it. The more we're going to see students suffer, the more we're going to see parents suffer, the more we're going to see the economy suffer as well. We need to do it fast. We need to do it right. You just mentioned lockdown. We just went into yet another uh, lockdown over the weekend. At what point are we going to start seeing the benefits of, of, of us staying at home and businesses closing their doors? I don't think we're going to see it anytime soon. I just saw your traffic report this morning, and there was a lot of cars going south. Um, if we think back to last April, it was not the exact same situation. We did not have as many cars on the road. So this you know, sort of a pseudo lockdown won't have a huge like impact. Also, um, the fact that we just had Easter, we're going to see those cases trickle in over the next little bit. My guess is, if anything, we're not going to see cases plateau or actually drop until about two weeks from now. And vaccinations, the glimmer of hope for a lot of people here we saw uh, Brampton Mayor Patrick Brown saying that teachers should be vaccinated. Um, is that going to help? Is that going to help us keep schools open? It would certainly help keep schools open. It's not going to do much with this third wave. Um, I think we're already seeing that. We've already vaccinated 15% of the Ontario population. Um, we're not seeing cases drop yet because you need a lot more vaccinated. This holding a vaccination rollout will be enough to hopefully stop the fall fourth wave. But you're right, if you want to keep schools open, if you want to put the like, priority on schools, you need to vaccinate teachers. You can't say that education is essential and then not treat like teachers like essential employees. Uh, Brian, what else do you want to see in terms of measures here today? Uh, we, said, we talked about the lockdown. What other measures do we need to take? We have about 15 seconds. I'd like to hear from you. Yeah, I think we need a stay at home order in the situation, maybe for the next three to four weeks. Um, I also think that we need to stop retail capacity and we need to limit it to 20%, not this 50% that it's at right now. Ryan Imgrund, always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. All the best to you. Same here. Take it easy. And we know that uh, Premier Doug Ford is set to speak today at 1 p.m.